Don't paint me thankless. Just have to say this. No, you doubt the way you move. Lost in your fragrance still makes me anxious. It doesn't feel right not knowing you. You never show me, you tell me the way that you're feeling. Feeling, oh. I never ask you the questions, cause maybe I'm fearing. Maybe there's parts of you that I'll never know. said my outfit is giving little house on the prairie i don't know if that's a good thing or not i just really wanted to wear this skirt and i was trying to find a way to wear it i got those little shoes and socks i think i like it i added a little hair bow in the back if you can see to give it some more character and my mom said it's really cold at church, so I should bring a jacket. Maybe a denim jacket, but I won't wear it as like part of the outfit, just for warmth's sake. Good morning, guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah Renee, and it is so nice to meet you. This is Young Womanhood 101, where we share about healthy lifestyle, self-care, and all the above. Alex coming in right now. Welcome. I'm just assuming I'm allowed to get in the car. Yes, you can get in the car. Today, we are going to do a cozy hobby day video. That's what we're doing. I don't know what that means. Like we're doing cozy hobbies. Things I do on my rest days. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be a are good you day. Gonna highlight my cozy hobby. What's your cozy hobby? Pickleball. That's not cozy at all. Oh, it's cozy. It's not cozy. <laughs> it's pretty cozy. No. Another cozy hobby I do, but I don't know what you're filming it is bath time. <laughs> That's weird. That's cozy. Good to me. And I say because you are good. And dance because you are good. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at all this. Yeah. Oh. Church is now over, so time to get in comfy clothes, obviously. If you don't come home from church and get in comfy clothes immediately, what are you doing? Because I feel like that's just the rite of passage, you know? 
so I'm taking out all my hair and stuff to get comfy. We had church. We went to my parents' church today. I took some videos for them so that they could have that as memories. And then we went to lunch with my family. Whoops. And now we're back home to commence my cozy hobbies. So a few of my cozy hobbies that I'm going to name for you are reading. Got back into reading recently and I love it. It's so much fun. Another cozy hobby. I haven't done this in a while, but I love to play Animal Crossing. So maybe I'll fit in a little Animal Crossing time today. That would be a lot of fun. I also take care of my plants as a cozy hobby and some of them need some attention. So we should be doing that today. Another hobby is I like to go on walks or play pickleball, <laughs> but I probably won't be playing pickleball today. Maybe just a little walk would be fun. Another thing that I haven't done in a while, but since it's a cozy hobby day, maybe we'll do it, is color. Just coloring while there's like a movie going is so ultimate levels of cozy right there. I can't really think of any other hobbies that I partake in. I'm trying to think if I have any more. I mean, journaling, take a bath. That's more like self-care things, not necessarily hobbies, but we'll be doing those things as well. So let's commence the cozy hobby day. I've explained this before, but I like to do a weekly journal. I'm not somebody that journals every day. I know that other people do that, but if I can at least do weekly, which I don't do consistently, but if I could, that would be good enough for me right now. So these are the journal prompts that I do for the week. I've explained this before, but I will put them on the screen for you. I do a highlight of the week, down point, what I did accomplish, what I didn't accomplish, energy giving, energy draining, excited for next week, feeling for last week, grateful for, and a rate for the whole week. So that is what I'm gonna do in my little journal to recap on last week. I am going to play Animal Crossing on my Switch. If you've ever played Animal Crossing, you know that the little characters get mad at you if you haven't played in a long time and I haven't played in a long time. So they're gonna be mad at me. That's just the way it goes and that'll be fine. I will be okay with that but I'm just gonna do some little cozy gaming I hardly ever do this it's really just for special occasions so this is gonna be exciting dark is deal with my seedlings because they're out of control and they're just dying because they're not in a good spot so let's look at these see what we got here this is my cheat sheet to tell me what they are so one of the things I need to do is a process called thinning it's when you have two little sprouts in the same slot and you want to have only one because you want all the nutrients to go to one actual plant. So I'm going to do some thinning here. I have 
two flower plants that I think need to get out of this seedling thing and get into actual pots because they are out of control. So I have these little guys that I'm gonna fill up with soil and put the seedlings in there. I'm getting ready to go on a little walk. Typically, I don't exercise on my rest day, but I'm really trying to take my health seriously. And next weekend, I'm going on a work trip, so I know that I won't exercise a lot next weekend, so I wanna to do it today. But the reason why I'm doing that, I talked about this a little bit in my last vlog, but I didn't, explain all the details. I had that women's doctor appointment that I said in my last vlog is like my annual appointment and they weighed me and they told me how much I weighed and I'm not gonna lie to you I cried after when I got home because I was just appalled and I was so very sad and I had a mental breakdown about it. After kind of praying to the Lord about it because it was so devastating to me. I just had the Lord speak to me about it a little bit and um, kind of get me motivated to do things that are good for me and not live out of survival. That's kind of been my problem for many, many years and I've been living out of survival just trying to be a full-time student, a full-time employee and not actually having any time to take care of myself. So now that I'm not a full-time student, just a full-time employee, this is the perfect time to take care of myself seriously. And it kind of kicked me in the butt, I'm not gonna lie. So that's why, long story short, why we're going on a walk today. And it's just gonna be a low-key walk on my street, nothing too crazy. And then, I'll probably listen to a podcast while I am on that walk. I'll tell you the podcasts I listen to because there's four or five that I have in rotation. First one is Hannah Elise. Hannah Elise is my comfort YouTuber. And she started a podcast called Digital Diary. So I listened to that one. I also listened to On My Mind by Ava Jules, another YouTuber that I've watched for years. I listened to Healthy But Human by Callie Gwali. That one is a Christian health and fitness one, which is cool. I listened to Morning Ray, which is just a health and fitness one. And then I listened to The Wellness Cafe by Trin Tondelier. That one is health and fitness as well. The last two are not Christian ones. They're just kind of wellness ones, but... That's kind of the content I like to consume. It motivates me. So that's what we're gonna listen to on our walk. Also, if you're wondering where my husband is when I'm having all of this time by myself, he is a pickleball addict. He plays several hours a day. It's out of control, not gonna lie to you. And that's where he's at today. He left at 3.40, it's now 6.30. So we're on hour three. I don't think he's coming home anytime soon. It's now seven o'clock. We're gonna be cooking pork chops for dinner. I know that's a little late to be having dinner, but just wasn't really hungry until now. So we're gonna do pork chops. I have leftover rice, and then I'm gonna do corn, just canned corn, probably. And I may also make chocolate chip muffins. I wanted to make blueberry muffins as like breakfast for me throughout the week because I'm trying to get better at actually eating a real breakfast and I know that's not a full breakfast but it's a good start for me however our blueberries are bad so I may do chocolate chip muffins instead and that's actually 
a restful hobby for me because I used to love baking as a kid so I have been getting back into it in my 20s and it's been a lot of fun so that's what we're gonna be making in the kitchen today the back going. Alec told me that he's going to take care of the dishes and cleaning up so that I can take a bath. So I am getting that started and I'm excited. I was going to color and like watch a movie tonight but change of plans. We're going to read and get in the bath. So I'm going to read the final gambit for a book in the inheritance game series and have a grand old time.